नानम परमम धेयम नॉलेज इज सुप्रीम today i want to just tie up certain things uh, about dimension and some uh, more example of a uh, computation with the dimension with, with the polynomial ring so i want to just recall uh, so if you have a field k then you have a polynomial algebra over a field in n variables and in linear algebra we have the corresponding object is uh, vector space of dimension n k power n this is a k vector space of dimension n this is uh, usually called in a fine n space um and in commutative algebra or algebraic geometry that corresponds to this polynomial algebra and we have also seen that um, if you assume more k is algebraically close then this a fine n space also you can realize it as a maximal spectrum of this polynomial algebra so this is spm k x1 to xn so this there is identification here and uh, but note that when you have a if you have a uh, usual field like uh, real numbers or complex numbers uh, usually on k power n one takes a usual topology but here we have a zariski topology so that is uh, weaker than and the usual topology and uh, this n therefore in this setup it corresponds to the cruel dimension this is n and for this reason one might call this k x1 the spec of k x1 to xn is called a fine n space over over k uh, and it is n dimensional uh, more generally if you have arbitrary noetherian ring a is noetherian then for the similar reason if you take spec of a x1 to xn this is called a fine n space over k a or one should actually say not a but spec and also we have proved that the dimension of this ring dimension of this and therefore dimension of the spectrum that will be dimension a plus n uh not that the uh, over a field uh, it will be easier to realize or k algebraically close it is it is you can realize these points with this but to understand prime ideals or even maximal ideals in a it's rather complicated in general and i just wanted to recall that when we proved this dimension of the polynomial algebra is n more than the dimension a uh, we have postponed one proof uh, of one proposition that we will complete today so let me recall that and then we will complete that proof and then the next we will go to hypersurfaces hypersurfaces the analog of this but then how to get equations in in this case that will be the next uh, theorem okay so this is what we have left to prove last time 
so so uh, this proposition we have not finished complete proof i will state it completely for the sake of completeness there are three parts and only one was not proved and the other two were proved but for the sake of completeness let us not so a is um, a ring mostly no theorem i would like to assume a is a ring and uh, this polynomial extension and we wanted to study prime ideal sphere and prime ideal sphere and their heights and their relations and so on right so let's call this to be b okay and q is a prime ideal in b and p is the contraction of a now uh, p uh, q to a q intersection a so this simply means if you take the take the natural map from spec b to spec a there is a p here and there is at least this q is lying over that p so this means the fiber over p is non empty and this q is one element in the fiber okay uh, the first assertion was the uh, height of q mod px so note that this px is also prime ideal in px this means extension of p to b this is pb this is also prime ideal in b because when you take ax mod px that is a by p and then x so polynomial commutes with the mod operation so therefore this is a polynomial ring over integral domain therefore integral domain so therefore px is a prime ideal so this height is this height plus okay and at p there is a residue field kp and at q there is a residue field kq this means go mod p and then take the quotient field this this is a b mod p b mod q and then the quotient okay and it, it is clear that this one this one is an algebraic uh, this one is an extension of kp so a transcendent degree of kq over kp this tan this height plus the transcendent is, is equal to 1 to um height of q see ultimately we want to relate height of q and height of p so height of q equal to height of p plus height of q by px this is the main interest today to prove because this is what we have not proved last time and then when you plug it uh, from 1 this equal to 1 minus that uh, so this will be equal to height p plus 1 minus transcendent degree of kq by k kq over kp and the third was uh there are two cases height of q will be equal to height of p or it will be one more than the height of p this is the case when q equal to px and this is the case when q is not px this was it and this will therefore imply that uh, for an ethereum ring if you take a polynomial ring it will have exactly one more height than the dimension uh, dimension of a polynomial ring over an ethereum ring will be one more than the dimension of the base ring and we have proved one we have proved three by using one and two and this equality just follow from this one so we just have to prove this inequal this equality today this is what we want to prove today okay so uh, proof of 
टू सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल नोट दैट इफ आई टेक हाइट ऑफ पी एक्स दिस इज डेफिनेटली बिगर इक्वल टू हाइट पी दिस सिंपली फॉलोज फ्रॉम द फैक्ट दैट इफ आई टेक चेन ऑफ प्राइम आइडियल्स ऑफ लेंथ आर विच एंड एट पी एंड एक्सटेंड दो टू बी देन पी नॉट एक्स Containing, containing. This will be a proper chain of prime ideals in in B, and this obviously contains is contained in Q. Therefore, height of Q will be at least at least R. So, therefore, this for every chain it happens. So, therefore, height supremum so on. Okay, now uh, uh, therefore height of Q height of Q. Will be equal to height of p x plus height of q mod p x. This is because you take a q this, so it's it's clear. Because if you take a uh, this height that is coming from a chain of length, some length the uh, ending at p. And you extend that length, and then p x will be contained in q. So by two parts, so height is bigger equal to. Now I want to prove the equality here. That is what. So this is equal to height p plus height of q by p x. So we want to prove the other inequality. So for that, let us put localize. See, uh, all the chain in all are contained in P and and uh, contained in Q. So I want to come down to the local situation. So let us put B equal to A localized at P and C equal to uh, A X localized at Q. So now both these are local rings, and the maximum ideal aim here is. P A P and the maximum ideal here uh, it is Q Q Q C let us say Q C is the maximum ideal that let us call it N. So we have these two local rings. Okay, and let us call uh, D to be the height of P. Which is then the dimension of B, and also let us call E to be the height of height of. So this is um, this I want to call it height uh, E equal to height of Q mod P X. So uh, these two heights, and we want to prove D plus. So to prove. we want to prove that uh, d plus e is less equal to height of q this is what we want to prove which is the dimension of c okay so now we are in this b is a local ring b is a local ring local of dimension d and we have proved that uh, local ring there is a system of parameters generated by d elements that is chevalier dimension so therefore there exist d elements in b so a1 to d ad in m such that this a1 to ad is a system of parameters system of parameters for b that simply means that it's a primary ideal for so that is it generates that is this a1 to ad is m primary ideal 
in B. That means some power of this m is contained in this. So let us say m power b, m power p is contained in ideal generated by a1 to ad. Okay, now this um, uh, in 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 C by in on the other hand, this C is local, and we are interested in actually the ring. C by P C. This is this is same as uh, so in this the maximum ideal will be now corresponds to Q by P X. Remember C was uh, polynomial ring over a localized at Q, and when you go mod P, you have to go this. So this this is the maximum ideal in this. Um, so this is this is like when you read so this is like C M C see B to C there is a homomorphism and this M it go it goes to M C so this ring in this ring this is a maximal ideal so the maximal ideal because local ring this C is local therefore this is local therefore there is a system of parameters. So system of parameters for C I will denote by C1 to C that is what we have called that E to be the height of this which is the dimension of this ring. So C1 to C choose system of parameters. Or you either call C by P C or C by M C. This is same as C by M C. So, because it is a system of parameters, the power of a maximal ideal will be contained in this ideal generated by C one to C P. So that means n power some uh, n power what do I call it now uh, some some uh, q will be contained in ideal generated by c1 to c but this means uh, this means um, m time uh, so uh, this means n power n is the maximal ideal in c but maximal ideal is uh, generated mod mod mc generated by this n so therefore that will imply that n power p this is in in c by mc so n power if i further raise it to um, n power uh, p uh, n power that m power p if i further raise this to q this will be contained in a1 to ad along with c1 to c so th because the, 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 when you say the power of a maximal ideal is contained in the ideal generated by this the maximal ideal here is n by mc so therefore, when you lift it, you have to go n plus m c, and then when you raise enough power and then shift this into the other side, this is generated by uh, it's contained in ideal generated by this. That simply means that um, the the height that simply means the dimension. So this is therefore a primary ideal. This is n primary ideal. in C because it contains the power of the maximal ideal. Therefore, therefore the, this number d plus e has to be bigger equal to less equal to bigger equal to see it is primary ideal. So, the minimal the, the system of parameters is the minimal number of generators for the 
ideal when you go mod the length becomes finite, but primary ideal will make that, but we want to correct. So, that is the infimum of those remember this system of parameters the Chevalier dimension S of A was by definition infimum of the number R. So, that length of A by A 1 to A R is finite where A is the local ring. So, this was the infimum and this is one ideal so that when you go mod that length becomes finite because this is in primary. So, that implies the height of n is less equal to d plus e. So, this is the dimension of c, but this is same as height of q because we have localized it. So, that proves this inequality and that therefore finishes the proof of that inequality uh, equality that we wanted to prove. Therefore, it now justifies that when you take noetherian a noetherian, then we know dimension of A x is one more A plus 1 and more generally when you take dimension of induction the dimension of a 1 this is n more than the dimension of a and now theorem is very important otherwise this equality may not be equality uh, we should see example in maybe in the tutorial section next time. Uh, so, it justifies also that this is called an affine n space over, over a now it is the dimension is like n. Okay, now the next object that we usually study in uh, linear algebra for example, are hypersurfaces and hypersurfaces are given by one equation. So, this is analog of that I want to prove in this setup today, but before I do I just want to recall uh, that uh, when we say when x is a Noetherian space. It, it, do you know the definition and so on that ok. So, I will assume and so you know that Noetherian space is a um, union of uh, finitely many irreducible and the irreducible components make sense and so on. I suppose z 1 to z n are irreducible components. of x. So, I want to when do you say x is equidimensional? x is called equidimensional that means all of these irreducible components have the same dimension and that dimension will be equal to then dimension x. If dimension of x equal to dimension of z i for each i, then you call it equidimensional. So, that means, so typically you think of, so uh, usually one should think x as spec of a and a is no ethereum. Uh, say for example, uh, if uh, if your ring is d dimensional that means the supremum of dimension of the irreducible components will be equal to d but some of them may be lesser so for example imagine a point and a and a line a point and some some uh, curve so this this one has dimension 0 this one has dimension 1 but if you take together so dimension will be one. So, like that. So, the irreducible components here correspond to the minimal primes. So, irreducible irreducible components of spec A they correspond to the minimal elements in 
the associated primes of E. And there are finitely many here, so finitely many minimal uh, elements, therefore, finitely many irreducible components, all of them may not give the dimension, some may be equal, some may not be equal. If all of them have the same dimension, we call it equidimensions. 